I just had a sighting of a UFO, and this is the only one I've ever had in my entire life. I routinely look up into the night sky and watch the trajectory of planes, and the reason I do that is because I don't really comprehend how someone could see a plane and think they saw a UFO, and I want to try to understand that. Now, planes, if you watch them long enough, it becomes very obvious that they are planes. There might be an incident where you see a plane and it's really, really bright, but keep watching its trajectory and eventually you'll see the anti-collision light blinking or you'll just know it's a plane because it's just moving in a very plane-like fashion for an extended period of time. So as a result, you'll have high confidence that what you're really seeing is a plane and not something more exotic. Now, the reality of the situation is, is we're not all equal observers. Some of us are better than others. That's just a fact. Some of us are, are more susceptible to perceiving they saw something and perceiving that what they saw was, was out of this world when it was not. Now, I'm not going to try to convince you that I'm an over-average observer, Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I'm only going to tell you my experience as I experienced it. Now, before we go any further, it's incumbent that I emphasize that the first letter in UFO is unidentified. So, yes, I could not make sense of what I saw. And I'm very familiar with planes at all different angles and all different trajectories at night. And I know that they can look really weird for at certain segments of time, depending upon their altitude, their trajectory, and so forth. They can be extremely bright. But still, what I saw did not come across as a plane to me. I'm not saying it wasn't a plane. How would I know K-N-O-W? I'm saying it did not come across as a plane to me. So this happened yesterday. It was about 1 a.m. I was taking the trash out. And, I, and I, I don't recollect exactly where my head was when I first saw it, but I noticed something in the sky. And it was extremely bright. It was golden in color. And it was big. And yes, I've seen planes that I've come across as extremely bright and the light seems on the large side. This light that I saw seemed, seemed larger than those situations. And it was going like this, at this angle. And and I was just watching and I'm like, what is that? And I'm like, and I was walking toward it. You know, with the potentiality of getting a better look at it. And it just kept that trajectory going like this. And like I said, it it was so bright that that was the first indication to me that this is something strange. No, no plane that I've ever seen that I can recall has ever come across that bright and that large. It wasn't like a little thing in the sky. It came across like a, it looked like a fireball in some respect, kind of. It was just very big. It was going like this. And as I'm watching it, at, at, maybe at about 10 seconds after I've, it's been in the sky, 10, 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, I don't know. The light started to change and it started to get dimmer and dimmer. So I could still make it make make it out. And then the it, you know, and I'm I'm expressing this the best that I can. I unfortunately I did not have my my phone with me, so I was not able to take a video of it. And then as it got at its dimmest level, I'm like, what is that? And then it poof, the light went off. The light was gone. And what it reminded me of is if you've ever seen a shooting star. From my recollection, when you see a shooting star, sometimes the light sort of like dissipates at the very end. So this was like started off as this really robust golden, golden light moving like this. And then at a certain point, the light started to to diminish and then it just dissipated into like, and then it just turned off. And when it turned off, I said WTF really loud because 
And look, I, I'm not a plane expert, so, so I don't know for sure, but that seemed weird to me. It seemed weird to me to, and for me to initially see it so bright, so robust, golden, going at an angle, and then quickly the light starts to dissipate to the point to where it just the light's completely off. Now, if it was a plane, you would think that it, you would, you would, if you were following the trajectory, because I don't think there were any clouds out, you'd have ultimately see the, the anti-collision light or, or some telltale sign that that's a plane. Now, on account of all this, my, my current best guess is that it's a drone. And, and so at this point, it's important to distinguish between two kinds of sightings. Let's make it three kinds. There's the one kind of sighting is where people just are terrible observers. They are absolutely horrific observers. They see Venus or they see an airplane or even they see the moon or whatever and they think they saw a UFO. These are just bad observers. The second kind of sighting I will, I will designate as a mystery. You saw something that you could not designate. You could not, you, you could not say what it was. And that's a pretty big deal. If you see something in the sky and you can't say what it is, doesn't mean it's an alien machine, but that's still a pretty big deal. I would, that, I would put my sighting under that umbrella. And then there's the third category, which I think very few people have, which are absolute unambiguous sightings. So you didn't see something that could be a satellite or could be a plane, or could be a drone, you saw something so clearly with, with such rich detail and at close enough proximity that you know down to the core of your being that that was nothing that is conventional, period. Let me give you an example of what that could constitute. A giant black triangle flying over you and blotching out the stars. I could, I could perceive a scenario where you got such a clear perception of that, that you're like, that you could be confident that that simply was not anything conventional. Or let me give you another example, a flying saucer during the day, a, a, a perfect large flying saucer with no wings, no tail, no exhaust, perfect visibility. Yes, you are entitled to say it was not from here if you saw something like that. Because as far as we know, and according to Newtonian physics, vehicles like that do not exist that stem from human civilization. So I'm gonna put my sighting in the category of mystery. It was not the third category of 100% unambiguous. Like I think David Fravor, Commander David Fravor had. He was the squadron leader of the VFA-41 Black Aces. He was a Top Gun pilot. He saw the Tic Tac, and so did the three other aviators in the sky with him. And the, and the radar operators corroborated with saying that there were weird stuff being tracked that does not fall into the category of conventional aircraft. It falls into a category of something that does not maneuver or operate in accordance with what we know should exist that human civilization has created technologically in the past or, has, or is creating now. <clears throat> so, so that's all I got to say. Do I think what I saw could have been an alien machine? Yes. Do I think it's likely that it was an alien machine? No. No, I do not. I think if we're going by statistics or odds, the statistics and odds are that I just couldn't identify that. And I, I've trained for this, son. I've trained for this. You better believe. Oh, yes, I have. What does that mean? Whenever I go on a walk or very often, if it's in the, particularly in the daytime, I probably should do it more at night when I can, not going on a walk, but, but, but training. If I see like a plane or a bird or something, I'll be like, I'll take my, my phone out and I'll train. Where, where, is the, where is the video button? Know where that is, inside out and backwards, press it. And what I do is I make sure I ID the plane that I see or the, or the bird that I see, and then I lift the camera up. Never lift the camera up and then try to find it. Bad habit. Let me tell you something, at least it is to me, maybe someone could persuade me otherwise, but let me tell you something. 
It is not easy to pull a phone out of your pocket to quickly and seamlessly press the video button on it and then get it and then get your phone in position to capture footage of an object prior to the object moving away to where you don't know where it is anymore. That's not easy. Believe me, I know because I've trained for this. So unfortunately, I did not have my video. My, I did not have my phone when I made the sighting, but I but I really looked at it. I zeroed in on it as much as I could, realizing that this might be a live sighting of something unknown. Now, of course, it is unknown to me, but it was not the third category of sightings, which is 100% unambiguous. It was ambiguous. It looked like a golden light. That is ambiguous. I can imagine that a drone or a plane in the right circumstance could create that kind of perception. The weirdest part to me, now, now, the, now the, the strong golden light was weird, but the weirdest part to me was when the, the light started to sort of fade until, it, until I could just barely see it and then it just turned off. That was weird. You would think that would not happen. So that's my only sighting that I've ever had in my entire life where I couldn't definitively say that is a plane or that is likely a plane or I feel strongly that's a, like that, that's a plane. What I saw m makes me scratch my head. I'll see you in the next episode.